Alright, hey guys, this is Fox and Nance, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. And uh, in this part, we will be going on with the second half of the game, where we have to revisit pretty much all the worlds and uh, do cool stuff. Word. Um, I've decided that Lexius and all the other absent silhouettes, I'm going to save for another time. Basically, I'm going to wait until right before the final boss and do a sort of optional boss roundup seeing as how the final unlocked optional boss only appears right when you're about to go to the last world so yeah anyway there uh there's a new story in a uh, hundred hundred acre wood and there's one in atlantica as well so Okay, this is Kanga's house. I don't remember what the mini game. Actually, no, I remember now. Oh, look, magic boost. And what else? There's a crown over here. Alright, cool. We also got Stride Break, which is our first uh, finishing ability, and it's quite nice. Um, that would be, uh, I can't remember, a drive boost, I think. I don't know what that, that has to do with, su that's the summon boost. So guys, is it sad that I've played this game so much that I didn't even have to look at the translation guide to tell that was summon boost? Because I know what summon looks like, and yeah, I just kind of deduced from there. God, I'm a loser. <laughs> anyway, um... Alright, that's an Orochalcum. As it's called in Japanese, Orochal, for some reason. More like Omo Chow, more like Homo Chow, lo 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 lo, I'm so witty. Beep beep. Cause that's how you drive cars, guys. That's how you drive cars. I actually like this mini game, but the first time you do it, it's like over too fast. Lol, over too fast, that's what she said. Oh shit. Your mom's is a good bouncer, lol. What? But yeah, I actually kind of like that mini game. And it's pretty simple, so. Yeah. Okay. Um. Now we're gonna go do some songs in Atlantica. But yeah, I can beat Lexius now, and all the other absent silhouettes I could beat as soon as they're unlocked, but I won't. I'll uh, do them all at once. Lol, what? <laughs> That's what he said. Or maybe it's what she said. I don't know. Either of them could have said it, really. Oh god, under the fucking sea. I really just don't like this song. Like playing it and listening to it. Oh, and to pass this song, um, that silhouette of Ariel in the meter over there has to be above the water. And you have to press like square at the right time with those aerial panels. 
but sometimes it'll be uh, and you don't you can't press the button during the uh, freaking Sebastian panels. What happens is sometimes the Sebastian panel turns into an aerial panel right before you're supposed to press it. So you need to be paying really close like there. Like fuck this song seriously. Subarashi Oh, wait, wrong wrong language, sorry. Cause I have the uh Kingdom Hearts 2 OST, but I have like the Japanese version, which really doesn't affect any of the songs except the theme song. Fuck. Except the theme song and the Atlantica songs. And these songs sound really bizarre in Japanese. That's nice. Nobody cares. Go home. But yeah, the cutscenes in Atlantica are so dreadfully like long and boring that it's just it's impossible to deal with. Oh, and by the way, after that song, Errol gets turned into a fucking human. Because uh, uh, Ursula is basically like, lol, sub, want to be a human? She's like, lol, K. It's like, lol, alright, done. In exchange, though, I want your voice. It's like, you know, you can either be a mermaid, alright, or I can be a human that's fucking mute and doesn't know how to fucking walk or anything. And I have three days to win the heart of this fucking prince before all of this is for naught. Sounds like a good plan. Like, what the fuck? No, fuck that. Anyway, let's go do Land of Dragons round two, yo. Word up to your mother. Village is still pretty fucked up. Also, Mulan's pursuing some dude in black. And as we all know, people in black are bad. Der her her. Slight racism. Okay, he has a teamwork equipped or whatever limit that is, so. I still have access to a, a, a Rimito Breaku. A Rimito Breaku. Fuck it. You know what I mean. Limit break. Limit. What? Fuck. <laughs> I keep jumbling my words. I'm a bad commentator, guys. I'm a bad commentator. <laughs> anyway, um. Right. Oh god, I love stat boosts. The, the idea of playing through this game without stat boosts doesn't please me, but the thought of going through level 1 without stat boosts makes me want to punch myself in the face. But then I realize, why should I punch myself in the face? I should punch Namura in the face for creating level 1. Sadistic fuck. We didn't notice him at all until she pointed him out. Because we are special. Seriously, what the fuck, dude? Oh, by the way, after the whole Hollow Bastion War thing, all the enemies are stronger. As you notice, Dust have a way more HP. They, I, I don't know if they, how much more damage they do, if they do more damage at all, but they are stronger, so, yeah. Every single enemy, by the way. Every single enemy has more HP. Possibly more defense and strength, I don't know. And here comes some guy who is obviously not Riku. Even though he uses his weapon, his stance, and his attacks. 
Oh, by the way, he doesn't flinch. Glitchy ass fucking music. I hate this backup. This backup is starting to piss me off. Oh my god, what? Get ready for some Ars Arcanum. What the fuck? Like, I hate this fucking backup. It's messing up, like, everything. Pisses me off. So anyway, yeah, Dragon breaks out of the mountain, and it's like, lol, sup, faggots. And it's like, wait, y that's not cool. But yeah, even though he uses Riku's attacks, alright, because we saw him use Darkfire Aga. At least once. He uses Riku's attacks. And his weapon, and his battle stance, but he's not Riku. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure there are a couple of people who have insinuated this. That it's like Zigbar or something. Because, yeah, Zigbar would fight with a sword. You know, that's what he likes to do. When he's not being the fucking sharpshooter of Organization 13, he likes fighting with swords. Yup, totally, totally plausible. Remember you douchebags well. Where's the other one? No, sup, bitch. No, you. You. Oh, by the way, look, Neo Shadows. Also, I've seen videos of Neo Shadows in Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix. They are bastards in that game. And here's the part where we run away like bitches. Sup, cowardice. Oh, you hooker! Some, someone is going to fucking die. Sup, bitch? Anyway. We'll stay in limit form for the lulls. Also, this next fight always seems to kill me. Will Fox die? He will bump his microphone like he did just now. But will Fox die? That is the quintessential question. The QQ, one might say. Also, fuck this game, because it gives us enemies like this. At least it's... Oh, I meant to use Ragnarok, actually. There's still time for that, though. Mmm, look at that. Did it kill anything? Hell nah. It was still awesome, though. God damn, Goofy Tornado is fucking beastly. Legend is right, god damn. Oh, shit. I can have Sonic Braid? Oh, shit. No thanks. Ow.
Ow. Shit! Bitch. No, seriously, those guys are bitches. I hate them. Come on, we gotta go to the Imperial Palace! Oh, sweet. Full heal. Except for my drive gauge. Good thing we got some drive recovers, my right? I am right, you don't have to say it. It's okay, guys. I'm going to leave in this scene just because I think it's kind of funny. That'll work. I think they use the same clip of them saying open up twice. And then of course you can start scaling a fucking... <laughs> a pole like that. Like, just... Uh, this is like fucking Spider-Man shit. This isn't even Kingdom Hearts anymore. And then, oh, take my hand! And she catches herself. You were like three feet off the ground. You weren't going to get hurt. <laughs> I always get a kick out of that for some reason. That would hurt. And Donald gets pretty much self-owned. This next battle is a bastard. So, and, uh, I'm going to have, uh... Don Arudo out to help me. Sup, dude? Are you Riku? Oh, snap. Oh, dear. Wrong guy, lol, 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 lol. That wasn't that funny, actually. But yeah, this fight is a bastard, because fucking nobodies are... These nobodies in general are just pains in the ass. Goofy Tornado is still beastly as fuck. God damn. I wish I could be as manly as Goofy Tornado, but unfortunately, one human being could not handle that much epic in their system at one time. So, it might actually kill me, so. Whatever. Anyway, there are a shitload of chests in here for pretty much no reason at all. 
Oh my god, torn pages. We get to go back to the land of Winnie the Pooh. Anyway, we got a new uh, shield for goofers and quite a few uh, items. Also, let's see what's up with our good old friend, the puzzles. I've got everything in more or less its proper place. And yes, every time I play this game, I do these puzzles without pictures. Because I'm just that damn good. Slash sucking own dick. I don't think I can get that yet. Yes, I can. Oh, by the way, we gotta fight a boss in a sec. Um... Actually, no. If I don't have Goofy in the party, I'm going to lose due to lack of, uh... Due to lack of Goofy Tornado, so... I'd better switch him back the fuck in. So we gotta fight a gigantic dragon now. I'll show you my gigantic dragon. Wait, what? Oh my god, what? Be brave. Lol, K. And this cutscene is just pretty cool. It's just gliding, you know, minding its own business. Now we're going to go, like, take it the fuck out. And then it's like, no, you first. And then we basically jump on it. And then the battle starts. Now be sure to do the reaction command at the beginning. Then let go, otherwise you'll get shocked. Now if you break, you can attack the, uh, you know, antler things. Uh, by themselves, the things on its head, which are the actual targets. But if you attack the little bits on its wings, you'll actually, um, be able to ground it, kind of. Oh, that's gay. I mean, that's annoying. The hell back here. Bitch. There's no escaping for me. That's... Oh, shit. No! That's not nice. You bastard. You absolute bastard. Now, I could guard these, but I'll just roll by them, because... Too many times have I failed to guard them. Now then. 
Thank God for aerial dodge, my right? Bastard. Mmm. And I'm going to back off. Wow, Mulan got owned. Do the RC, please. You, you fucker of mothers. I've had it, fellers. RC, yes. That's just pure rape. Damn it. Just to be safe. I hate this move with a burning passion. I can never seem to find a way to not take damage. Oh shit! What the fuck? I literally rolled right into it. I'm retarded. No firing your laser, please. I don't appreciate it. RC? No. Of course not. Why RC? You bastard. You son of a bitch! Gonna take damage. Yep, expected.
That's just fucking bull. Look at me, I'm Tetsuya Nomura. Tedious, heartless bosses are awesome. Just look at the Grim Reaper. That fucking piece of shit, boss. Back off! Thank you. So raw. You fucking whore! Awesome. Yeah, I swear to God if you're invincible during this. Okay, good. Why do you love doing this move? Stop. What? That barely did anything. What the fuck? Two hit? Really? Fuck you too, game. Fuck you too. You really are a son of a bitch, Storm Rider. Storm Rider, no. Why, Sora? I was pressing circle. Why didn't you do two aerial finishes? No. No, of course not. Oh, you son of a bitch. I swear to God. I I'm going to fucking castrate you, Storm Dragon. I swear to God. Why? Can we get a fucking, like, limit finish or something? If this doesn't kill... That's right, bitch. That's right. That's right. That's right. So think about that next time you start being a oh, let me fly around and be a dick. No, let's not fly around and be a dick, all right? Piece of shit. Oh, sucks to be you, Mulan. You're about to get crushed.
Oh, uh, Shang comes to save you. Instead of pushing you out of the way, let's both die together, am I right? Because that's the smart thing to do. And it faded away just before they were crushed. That's some Deus Ex Machina, am I right? So basically, we saved China again. We're, we're badass. That's pretty much it. Fuck yeah, fireworks, goddamn, that was the most boring boss battle ever. And I kept taking, like, random hits. And then I was out of potions. And then I used up all my... That wasn't cool at all. And then Mulan is like, Can Shang get a vacation so that we can make some hot Chinese babies? And then I was like, wait, what? And then the Emperor's like, lol, no, bitch. But if you want, you can be his assistant bodyguard. And then it's like, lol, okay, that's cool. And that's what happens. So, anyway. I was thinking that the second visits would be, like, way shorter than the first visits, and I would be able to do, like, two second visits a vid, but they're just about the same length, so, whatever. Um, so anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.